Greetings everyone and welcome to Testy Tuesday. Are you ready to get a test that I think you can pass? Yep, our Old Testament lesson for this week is from Genesis, the very first chapter, Genesis chapter one, also the first couple verses of chapter two, because the story kind of runs into chapter two just a little bit. It's one of the two creation accounts that we have in the book of Genesis. You're going, what, two creation accounts? Yeah. Chapter 1 and basically chapter 2. One after the other. Why that? Well, because they were two stories that were handed down through the ages. One probably from around the year 1000 BC. And the other one sometime in the 5-600 BC era. Okay? So you have all those coming together. And when the scribes wrote these down and and produce the scriptures that we now have today. They said, you know what? We cannot lose either one of these stories because they both talk about God and how God relates to us. All right? That's why we have both of the stories. It's not a, a blow-by-blow description, although the first one kind of sounds that way, of exactly how God tinkered with this, that, and the other, and, and, and made the world. No, look at all these mosquitoes all over me here. Um, but it's more about how God created this wonderful paradise that we live in. Look at this. This is just awesome. I love it back here. So, getting back to the first creation account, okay. Um, how many days did it take God to create everything? Dun, 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 dun. Time's up. Six. What? You're saying seven. No, six. Remember the seventh day? He rested. <laughs> so he was done after six days. Even though it says in there, on the seventh day he finished, well, he was finished. He basically just pulled out his rocking chair, sat down and said, ah, this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> and there you have it. Um, now, what's interesting is, remember we've talked about poetry, especially with our uh, psalm that we had at the beginning of the week here uh, yesterday, and how Hebrew poetry is a really beautiful thing, and we lose a lot of it when we translate it from the Hebrew into the English, but it's there. And you have the same thing going on with this first creation account, because if you really study it, you'll see that uh, day one and day four kind of parallel each other and then day two and day five parallel each other and day three and day six parallel each other it's like god kind of starts it then he finishes it starts it finishes it starts it finishes it go ahead trust me look at it you'll see it right there it's kind of awesome so what about day seven day seven it says god is finished yeah and he rests and he makes holy this day now, the thing is, it doesn't say, okay, now that means, uh, you know, we all have to spend all our time in church and um, you, you can't do anything. You know, we kind of Im impose those rules on it later. Even in the Older Testament, we have some of those rules about the Sabbath day. Uh, but that, that's not what God said. He's, he wants us to sit back and enjoy, enjoy life because it's finished. This is great. This is wonderful. Um, but there's one interesting thing I want you to look at. At the end of the first six days, it says each time, and it was morning and it was evening the first day, morning and evening the second day, as with the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. It doesn't say that with the seventh day. You know why? Because we're living in the seventh day. It continues. We live in God's presence. And we also live in harmony with, the, with, well, we're supposed to live in harmony with all creation around us and with one another. Well, there's a lot of things we can get into, but just read it. Read it over, over and over. The other thing that pops out at me as I read it is God saw that it was good. This is an awesome world that he's made for you and for me. Let's go out there and enjoy it. And let's go out there and respect it and live as part of a wonderful world he's given us. God's blessings be with you and enjoy this whole wonderful spate of days that we're about to have uh, in this coming week. Blessings be with you.